Hey, what's going on YouTube? So you know it's Bass here. And I'm here out of town. I'm actually in Fort Sill, Oklahoma right now doing some training. I'll be back home next week. So that's why I'm in this kind of, I'm in a restaurant right now actually filming this. Um, so um, basically this video is going to be going over Safari 4, which is the um, beta for the new version of Safari, which is Apple's web browser. They make this web browser themselves. And it's right now currently in beta and you can get it for Mac and the PC. And so I'm going to launch it and go ahead and start showing you some of the new features about it and some of the good things that are actually happening under the hood to make this probably uh, the fastest browser you're going to be able to get here shortly. Alright, so when you first bring up Safari, it takes me to my top sites page. Now this is a new feature kind of similar to what Google Chrome does um, as far as showing your um, most visited website that you go to. Um, you know, the website that you probably go to nine times out of ten anytime you open up a computer and, and get on the internet. And so this is the easy way to get straight to them. And um, so say you find a website you go to a lot, like the New York Times, you go ahead and click on it. And then it'll actually refresh the page for you. And then boom, here you go. You're ready to start searching the New York Times. All right, so let me go back to this. You can, um, you can edit this a little way. You can go down here to edit. Um, you can move these around if you want to reorder them. Uh, also, you don't want to... Find out you don't want to keep having eBay pop up, so I hit that X and then I'll reload the uh, next available page that is your most visited page. So you can, you know, move this around a little bit. Also, you can choose how many you actually want to see. You go to large, so you can just see six of them, so you actually see a lot more of the web page. Or go to small, and uh, I think at the most you can have about 25 or 20 uh, web pages here if you go to that view. All right, so I'm going to keep it at the medium view for here. And another new thing that they added to Safari 4 in the beta here is we go to your history. Now they actually added the cover flow feature that you find in iTunes. And so now you can scroll through your history of your web pages. And this is just a faster way to see exactly where you want to go back to. And it's a good way to actually see the physical page. Because, uh, you know, previous you had to, um, you know, it's all you had right here was the text. So going to a website you didn't don't even remember really remember the name it's kind of hard to go by what it is just by looking at the text and that's why it's very good that they added this um, cover flow feature here so I like this a lot um, get out of that and um, now one thing they took a, you know took a few things from Google Chrome that they didn't take it where they added the search box and the address bar you know in one box they didn't take that from it yet I was kind of looking forward to that um, but so now you still have the address bar and the search box here. And one thing they added to the search box is called Google Suggest. So if you start typing in, um, you know, Soldier Knows, you know, I just type in SOL. Um, and let me see. And it'll start giving you some suggestions about, um, you know, what you're probably trying to search for. Uh, then it also has your recent searches down here. Um, and. Let me see. Also, one other thing they added here is pretty nice. Let me get to a website though. Um, now, the Safari already had support for the multi touch support, but it wasn't fully supported yet. Um, now you can actually zoom in by doing the pinching effect. Um, you can zoom in on the full web page itself. So, I'll go ahead and pinch it. And now you can go ahead and zoom in on it. So, it is pretty nice. And you can go ahead and close it back up. You can get all the way out as you can see. All right. All right. And so it has that effect now for it. It's my cell phone. So now it does have that uh, support for the multi touch as far as pinching in and zooming in and out, and others as far as you know, going back and forth through pages, um, scrolling up and down using two fingers. Those are still here as well. Um, now, those are pretty much the main things that stood out as far as new features in Safari 4 in the beta. Now, a lot of stuff is going on under the hood. They have the uh, new Nitro JavaScript engine, which is supposedly renders JavaScript faster, about eight times faster than in an Explorer and four times faster than Firefox 3. So, they are quoting that. And I have to say, it is, it is snappy. It is pretty snappy. Um, I haven't done my own benchmarks compared to Firefox yet, but uh, I have to say it is pretty, it's either close or beaten it right now. Um, also, this no, Safari, of course, is the, it's the only browser that actually passed the ACID 3 test, which is a test that tests, uh, you can bring a web browser and actually test to see how it actually fully renders pages, you know, the time it takes, how it handles all the coding and stuff like that. And Safari is the first and the only browser that actually passed that test. So, it's another good plus to it. 
Um, but that's about it here. I'm going to go ahead and cut it short here. Um, I don't know. It's getting a little loud here in the restaurant. Uh, but again, I'll, I'll be back home next week, so I'll have a lot more videos coming next week. This is a quick look at Safari 4. Let me know what you think. If you already have it, leave some comments on this video. Let us, let us know your thoughts about it. And other than that, I'll see you next week. Catch you later. Peace.